Hi, this is Jonathan over at AMT. Wanted to show you guys actually what Fly Cool can do. First, I'm going to show you a couple of the components that make up the Fly Cool. We have the electrical box, which is fully circuit protected for each component. We go over to our compressor pallet here, and it's a completely electrically driven, hermetically sealed compressors. We have our condenser here. And then some of the protection is we have a high-low pressure switch will, which will protect this system from leakage. It'll shut the compressors down or an overpressure. Let's walk into our test cell chamber here where we have our evaporator unit. And we're going to show you this blowing at 300 CFM of air. Uh, this is also protected by a free switch in case of low refrigerant uh, pressure, it'll shut off the compressor so it won't crack your coil from freezing water. Uh, we have a thermal expansion valve here and our brushless variable speed blower. So what we're going to show you uh, now is on a 100 degree day inlet temperature to your condenser, how much uh, delta of temperature we can get from the inlet of the evaporator to the outlet and we'll show you that this uh, little system of 22 pounds is still able to provide you with 300 CFM of cool air. All right, what you guys just saw was 100 degree air coming into the condenser, which would uh, be positioned in your telecone or baggage compartment, and then a 20 degree temperature drop across the evaporator, which is situated in your cabin. Now this air conditioning system won't freeze you out or make you have to put on a jacket, but 20 degree temperature drop with 300 CFM of air in your LSA or experimental with a big glass canopy would sure keep you cool on a hot summer day. So uh, hope you enjoyed this and fly cool.